timing can have a huge effect on whether or not your subscribers open your emails. So think carefully about what time and day you send your emails out. So when is the best time to send out these marketing emails? Now when it comes down to it, it's going to depend on your audience. But how do you decide where to begin your tests? Now plenty of people have done studies and of course offer their opinions, but sifting through them all will take weeks or even months to do. But luckily for you, I've boiled down the results from several studies giving you a comprehensive guide to the best strategies for when to send out these emails. So what day of the week do you tend to send out your marketing emails? Have you tested out different days of the week to see if it makes a difference? Now if you said Tuesday, you're not alone. Now while the idea of Blue Monday has been mostly debunked, surveys have found that people hit the productive button on Tuesdays. The pleasure of the weekend allows us to coast over into a Monday, but on a Tuesday, the reality of work sets in and we are ready to get up and go. Now, according to a study by GetResponse, people send over 70% of all emails on a Tuesday, making it the most popular day of the week to send them. But do you want to be sending your emails when everyone else is sending theirs? Well, there is a balancing act to be had and it will depend on whether your recipient is reading emails from your competitors on the same day. But actually, this could be a good thing. If they receive a competitor's email, then if they also receive your email on the same day, your message could well negate the competitor's message. In this study carried out by Experian, Tuesday's emails have an overall open rate of about 18%, the highest open rate compared to the other weekdays. Now interestingly, Saturday has the highest open rate overall at 18.3%, but we need to take into account Saturday's low volume of email. Now this makes Tuesday the winner for most emails opened compared to any other day of the week. And if we take a look at MailChimp's data, they also confirm that the best time to send emails is on weekdays rather than weekends. So what about the time of day? Well, MailChimp also found that, in general, the optimal time of the day to send emails is at 10 a.m. in the recipient's own time zone. But of course, this data should not be viewed as black and white, as you need to take into account the type of business that you run and the content of your emails, as this will play a part in deciding when to send them out. You should also consider the location age and occupation of your recipients and logically this makes sense all of these factors will have an effect on what time they will be most likely to check their email as well as the type of emails that they're looking to check at any given time for instance hobby related content may be checked earlier before work whereas work related content is more likely to be checked during working hours in nearly all of the studies that I explored, Saturday and Sunday had the lowest volume rates, that is to say, the least number of emails sent. But interestingly, the highest open and click-through rates. So, even though the weekend was not the most popular time to send emails, those who opened them were much more likely to engage with the emails that they received, and they were also more likely to click through and purchase. Now the obvious explanation here is the fact that people generally have more spare time on a weekend to read through their emails and act on any call to action. But again, you should consider what your content is. If it is purely business focused, then maybe stick to the weekdays when people are in work mode. But if your content is more hobby or fun related, catching people in weekend mode may be better for your business. Now you should be aware that 54% of all emails are viewed on a mobile device, but this percentage is on the rise. Because mobile click-through rates are lower, importantly, you want to be sure that your call to action is clear and direct, and that your links are easy to spot and click, no matter what time of the day you're sending them. But consider this, if 54% of all emails are viewed on a mobile device, have a think about when people check their phones. Okay, so the obvious one 
is first thing in the morning, but you also need to think about when they take action. Now, if somebody wakes up on a Monday morning, scrolls through their emails and sees your email, they are very unlikely to click on it when they have to get up, get dressed and rush off to work. Now, have a think about the optimum times that they will check your email, but also act on it. Most emails which are dismissed initially will never be revisited and the recipient's inbox will be filled up with other content by the time that they plan to scroll back and read yours. Email open rates differ a lot depending on the device the recipient is using. Tablet users, for example, are more likely to open emails outside of business hours, for example, from 5 p.m. to 8 a.m while desktop users are more likely to open during business hours, which of course kind of makes sense when you think about it. Now my advice would be to use an email marketing service with the adequate analytics for you to be able to see which devices your customers are using to open up their emails. You can then segment your email lists so that you send some emails to your tablet users at one time of the day and your desktop users at another time of the day. Email marketing services such as MailChimp allow you to do this as standard. Now I've given you the stats and the facts, but the bottom line is this. The best time to send your emails will essentially come down to your contents, i.e. what are you offering? Is it business focused or fun focused? Who your customers are? What their day looks like? what device they use, and what they do in their spare time. Now, if you can work out these things, then you'll be in a much better position to ensure that your customers click on your email and ultimately click on your call to action. So I would ask you to take on board my findings from the studies and research, but really think about how this relates to your particular business. Experiment with segmentation and sending emails at different times and on different days to analyze the results to see what works best for your email marketing practice. Believe me, it will be worth it when you can increase your open rates and ultimately your call to actions. Now, if you found this video useful, then please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And you can also check out my website, sidegigjunction.com for loads of side hustle ideas and support for your home or small business.